Red Cross Society of China has opened its official microblog on a Chinese Twitter-like website. It hopes the platform can help it win back the public trust amid a public uproar following the exposure of scandals. China Report has the details. The Red Cross Society of China, or RCSC, opened its official microblog on China's microblog service Weibo on Monday. As of Tuesday afternoon, the online microblog postings of the charity have been forwarded by nearly 26,000 China microbloggers, and about 62,000 followers had posted comments. They voiced their anger on the charity's microblog website, with the most frequent comments demanding, paying back the money I have donated. The posting spurred another wave of public debate after a young woman calling herself Guo Mei Mei Baby online posted photos on her microblog detailing her lavish lifestyle. The woman claimed to be the general manager of Red Cross Commerce. The photos have provoked an uproar on the Internet. Many believe that she might have funded her lifestyle by embezzling money from the Red Cross Society. Responding to questions posted on the charity's microblog website Monday night, the charity's secretary general Wang Rupeng said, quote, The Guomei incident has discredited the Red Cross Society of China, but it, at the same time, makes us realize the problems and challenges in our project operation and fundraising. The charity has reported the case to the police as Guo had allegedly fabricated both the name Red Cross Commerce and the title General Manager. And it will invite auditing institutions to check revenues and expenditures for the China business system under the RCSC. The system was founded in 2000 by the China General Chamber of Commerce with the approval of the Red Cross Society. It primarily engages in charity fundraising in China's commercial sector as well as organizing emergency relief efforts. Funds raised by the group are channeled directly to the Red Cross Society. However, Guo Mei Mei incident is not the first time that the charity has come under fire. In April, a photo of an invoice was posted online showing that a department of the Shanghai branch of the RCSC spent more than 1,500 U.S. dollars on a meal. The high-priced meal also sparked public outrage. According to Wang, by opening the microblog, the Red Cross Society aims to enhance transparency in their work, ensure timely information release, and real-time communication with netizens. And the charity will also introduce a new online database to enable the public to track the donations later this month. Information on donations to earthquake hit Yushu in northwest Qinghai province will be the first to be included in the database.